Today we're gonna do a little bit of a demo on bottle feeding. This little baby is five days old. So if you get kittens in your backyard or anything like that, mom has disappeared and you need to bottle feed, um, this is a good demonstration on how to do it on one of these tiny, okay? You always wanna do it on a flat surface because you wanna feed them like they're nursing from mama. So you don't wanna do it like an adult baby where you're feeding like this, they can choke. That's never a good thing. Look at how chubby that baby is. So you wanna lay them on a flat surface, okay? And then you're just gonna lift their head. This is a miracle nipple. This does not come with these bottles. You can get them off of Amazon. They are fantastic. They mimic the same shape as mama's nipples and it makes it so much easier for them to eat. Um, we have switched all of our bottle feeders to these nipples because they're just fantastic. So then you just put the little nipple in there. You give a very slight little squeeze, just enough to make a little bit of milk come out and then you let them suck on it on its own. As they get bigger, they will chow down a bottle very quickly. But just like with human babies, when they're drinking out of a bottle, they do get air bubbles, so you need to burp them. I know it sounds silly. But when they turn their head and they say they're done, you basically pick them up, hold them good, and give some, you don't have to be super gentle. Super gentle isn't gonna do anything, just like when you had your baby. Um, so some good pats, sometimes you'll feel it, sometimes you don't, but you wanna do it for a little bit. Um, and then you can feel a good burp. And then always, either before, in the middle, or at the end, you always wanna potty them. The mamas, when she, after they nurse, the mamas will lick them and get them to go potty. I know it sounds gross, but she actually eats it. It's a protective kind of thing so that nobody in the environment, other animals can smell the feces or the urine. So you just wanna take a, a soft cloth. Normally I would have this wet with warm water and just lift the tail, keep them held like that. And then you're just gonna rub it on their bum. And then usually uh, very quickly, they will at least pee. And when you are bottle feeding, they should pee every single time that you bottle feed them. And then they'll probably poop once a day, sometimes twice. So he's got a little pee. And then you can go on if he seems like he's probably eaten already uh, from, he actually has a mama, she's upstairs but we're using him for demonstration purposes. So he is probably pretty full, he's very sleepy. So you wanna make sure that they potty every time and that you keep their bums very clean. And then they can be, you can try to uh, bottle feed them again if they seem like they're still hungry. And they'll let you know, they'll scream. At this age from about um, newborn to about seven to 10 days old, but they still need to be fed every three hours. So that means round the clock, all night long. <laughs> um, at about two weeks old, they usually can go through the night, but it, they'll let you know, they'll demand, demand feeding, um, they'll scream. But a lot of times if you feed them right before you go to bed, if you stay up late and then first thing in the morning, and then, and then it'll be every about every three hours, three to four hours throughout the day. And that is how you bottle feed and potty a kitten.